Hello everyone, welcome to Kindingle. Today we are going to perform static analysis of a trust. This is a trust member. I will share the 3D model of this trust member in video description link. In this lesson, you will learn the followings: how to create a study with beam mesh, how to define stresses and joints, and adding a reference geometry fixture. Also, adding immovable fixture to trust joints, and how to evaluate reaction forces. And in the last, we will see we will see the displacement and axial stresses in this truss. So, keep in touch till the end of this video. First of all, open 3D model of this truss. You can download it from link given in this video descriptions. After that, go to SOLIDWORKS simulation modules and from simulation, select new study. From type of simulation, select static because uh, we are going to perform static analysis of this truss and give it a specific name. Let's suppose it is truss analysis. After this, select all these trust members. Right click, edit definition, and ensure this, that the member type is trust, not a beam. So click on the trust. Okay. So we have defined each member as a trust. This is trust member, this is trust, this is trust. Now uh, assign materials, right click on beam trust. Apply favorite material to all bodies. I am going to apply plain carbon steel. So you have assigned plain carbon steel material to all members of this truss. Our next step is to define truss joints. So come to joint group, add it and select R. You can see the total number of joints are 8. These uh, purple highlighted Circles are, are representing joints. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So, total number of joints in this truss structure are 8. If some joint is missing, then we can calculate it. Okay. Okay. Now we will assign fixtures. These six joints, one, two, three, four, five, six, have no moments in these directions. So we will apply a reference geometry fixture. Right click on fixture, fixed geometry, use reference geometry and from joints option select these six joints four five six and from directions check the front plane and uh, make normal to plane zero deformation you can see okay just change the size of symbols we can see that uh, this joint had no movements along z axis arrow also shows the directions of no translation and z-axis so we have applied 
reference geometry to these six joints. After this, uh, we will define a movable support to these two joints. So again, go to fixture, fixed geometry, immovable, select the immovable or no translation option. Select these two joints. So these two joints have no translation motion in all these three axes, but they have rotation, rotational movements. So you can change the size and color of this type of this type of immovable fixtures. Go to added definition, symbol settings. Added colors, let's pose and from symbol size select to 200. These three arrows show that they have no moment and y axis, z axis, and x axis. Now, our last step is to assign load of 64,000 pound to this joint. Go to extend our loads, force, and from this option, select joint option, select this joint, we will apply load in y direction, directions downward, from reference, from direction side, select front, Change units to English. This is along plane direction one. This is along plane direction no. You can see this is along plane. Reverse the directions from symbol settings. Change its color. So let's put it to the green. Its value is 200. And value of load is 64,000 pound. So in this way, we have completed all of us, our boundary conditions. Right click mesh and create mesh. Mesh has been created. Now run our simulation. Please uh, subscribe Kandingal. So our simulation have been completed. From stress, from displacement, click displacement, edit destinations, make it true scale, send floating. You can see the maximum displacement is 1.66 millimeter. And in order to show where this maximum displacement occurs, go to displacement, added definitions, show maximum value. So maximum deformation occurs at this joint that is 1.66 millimeters. Now our next step is to plot uh, stress, exit stresses from stress added definition and from go to megapascal select from time axial
added definition to scale. <coughs> so maximum deformation on stress exit stress is thirteen point seven nine about fourteen megapascal. And in which uh, trust member it occurs just again go to stress show maximum value so maximum stress occur in this trust members now our last step is to calculate reaction forces long results list result force reaction force from directions like front plane change units to English and we want to evaluate reaction force at this joint like this joint and so you can see the reaction force in Z directions oh sorry in Y direction at this joint is 48,000 pound force do you remember that the applied load was 64,000? So reaction forces at this joint and at this joint, sum of these reaction forces should equal to 64,000. This is the 48,000 pound force. And from this option, select this joint. You can see the reaction force at this joint is 16. Pound force. So, sum of these both reaction forces at these a movable force is 40 is 64,000 that is equal to applied loads. So, that sum of the reaction forces in y directions are 64,000 pound force that validate our study correct. So, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Please subscribe to Kandingal. And if you need any kind of sports or services regarding CAD or simulations, just email us. Thank you for watching. Take care. Bye-bye.